Hello, our names are Brittany Coker and Karen Buson Street, and we are going to present our project, Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad News. Our project is a proof of concept to determine if machine learning techniques can be used as to quantitatively measure the skills required by medical professionals and students in the breaking of bad news to patients and their loved ones. Bad news in the medical field is defined as the information translated to a patient or their loved ones. This negatively affects their views on their future. Such an illness can be terminal or life-altering. The system consists of three main components, namely data pre-processing and feature extraction, machine learning, and the application. The data pre-processing and feature extraction phase includes the extraction of the vocabulary, pace, and tone from input audio files. These features are then passed to the machine learning phase where neural networks are implemented to generate an algorithm. The algorithm outputs combined quantitative ranking of the delivery. This is then passed to the final phase of the system. The application then includes the user interface. This will display the quantitative ranking for the user. Before the data can be processed by the machine learning, it must be pre-processed. All background noise is removed by a bandpassed filter. Further, all the silences in the audio files are removed. Speech recognition converts the audio files to text and exports the text files. This is done using Google's Speech to Text API with the South African Dictionary. Pace is calculated using the length of the audio file and the number of words detected to calculate the rate. Perceptual linear prediction, malfrequency sexual coefficients, and chroma features are all extracted using OpenSmile. These features are then passed to be trained. The use of a long short-term memory neural network for the classification of tone uses a six-layer architecture. The pace is considered good if the rate calculated is below 165 words per minute. The text is classified using a long short-term memory neural network for sentiment analysis. This involves four main steps. Firstly, audio data is imported and converted to text. Next, it is lemmatized and all stop words are removed, excluding the unnecessary words. The text is then converted into a numeric sequence and the neural network is trained. Future recommendations include the addition of video features. A more accurate model would need to be created. This would include a neural network for the pace prediction. We would also like to create a mobile device application. To summarize, we managed to extract all audio features with the use of audio feature extraction tools and signal analysis. There are current neural networks that were used to classify the tone and text with the condition that the pace was below a certain rate allowed us to rank the deliveries of bad news.